Hello, my name is Graham Jackson. And I'm Aubrey Jones, and we're here today to talk to you a little bit about pesticides and pesticide resistance. So in order to grow crops, they must be properly protected. A popular way of doing this is through pesticides. And pesticides are substances that are often used to protect crops from harmful insects, weeds, or other dangerous species. The word pesticide sometimes has a negative connotation. Pesticides can get into rivers and streams through runoff and potentially um, harm aquatic plant and animal life. However, this is really a concern when they are used in bulk. Pesticides can be beneficial because they protect crops from harmful insects and weeds. Because of this protection, food productivity is more abundant and therefore it is more profitable for farmers and more beneficial to consumers because we have more to eat. So for these reasons, pesticides need to be utilized, but because of their negative effects, they do need to be used sparingly. When they are not used sparingly, they can reduce pesticide resistance, which will be the main focus of our video today. Pesticide resistance means that the targeted species begins to evolve to survive the toxic chemicals within the pesticides. As the targeted species evolves, they become unaffected by the pesticide, which leads the farmer to use more of the pesticide to try to combat the insects, but during this process, they can hurt the environment. Integrated pest management practices can help limit the use of pesticides and avoid persistent or pesticide resistance. Three ways to do this would be through monitoring pests, avoiding persistent chemicals, and crop rotation. Monitoring pests. Monitoring pests is when you identify the organisms surrounding your crop. Some organisms can be beneficial, but others can be considered as pests. Monitoring the pests can help you determine the pesticides to use and how much to use. Monitoring pests is part of an integra integrated pest management program. It includes monitoring pest populations, areas, and vulnerability of the pest, and suggests pesticides to control the pest. It is important to evaluate the pest prior to the use of pesticides in order to determine the appropriate amount of pesticides to apply. The incorrect amount of pesticides used can create a pesticide resistance. The second solution is avoiding persistent chemicals. So persistent chemicals mean that pesticides are frequently used and are used in heavy doses. So avoiding persistent chemicals means that you appropriately rotate the chemicals used and you utilize the appropriate amount. So basically when you're using pesticides, it is important for them to quickly disappear so that they do not build up and so that a particular dosage doesn't become needed for them to be effective. This is important because insects resistant to the chemicals will multiply and continue to invade the crop if the same pesticide and dosage is used. It is ideal to use pesticides that are not long lasting and that are used sparingly. Solution three, crop rotation. Crop rotation is when different crops are intentionally planted in the same land area, one after another, in order to preserve the soil. Generally, crops are ro rotated seasonally and that the same related crops should not be in the same area more than, than three years. This process is pretty simple. After a crop is harvested, you would then plant a new unrelated crop in the same land area. A rotating crop can be helpful to prevent the same type of pests from invading the same area and can prevent crop residue from sticking around for an extended period of time. So of these three options, we believe that crop rotation is the best method. Of the three methods mentioned, crop rotation has the most benefits for the surrounding environment. So in other words, it does not only limit pesticide usage, but it also aids in protecting soil quality and soil erosion. Crop rotation reduces the amount of tillage uh, needed to maintain crops and therefore reduces the amount of loose soil. Um, and the, the soil structure also benefits from the crop rotation, which makes it less susceptible to erosion. Additionally, crop rotation heavily reduces the amount of pesticides needed. As earlier mentioned, crop rotation can prevent the same pests from invading the same area, therefore presenting the same chemicals from being used on the same um, land space. In some cases, the crops are rotated often enough to where pesticides are not even needed. Um, and better yet, this method is the most feasible, which is just yet another reason to implement this method. In conclusion, while pesticides are beneficial for protecting crops, they can be harmful when improperly used. When the same pesticides are used in the same area for a long period of time, insects can become resistant to the pesticides. To combat these issues, three solutions can be used. Monitoring pests, avoiding persistent chemicals, and crop rotation. As stated earlier in the video, we believe crop rotation would be the best solution. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. These are our sources.